unboxing videos. I've done like one on this channel in the past. I don't do them, but today, today we're gonna do one. We're gonna unbox this right here. Stay tuned for the best bushcraft unboxing video ever. Thanks for watching. Now there's a knife I've been wanting and it's not a simple task to get one of these knives. The builder makes one at a time. He takes no orders. He posts the knives randomly for sale when he's done with them. He'll finish it, finish up the leather sheath, and he'll put it on his website. No real warning, nothing you can hang your hat on. You just happen to have to check his website when he posts it, and he says very clearly on there that you better be ready to send me an email and complete the transaction because I'm not waiting around for anybody. I've been looking at this website randomly multiple times a day for about 18 months. And I was pretty sure I was never gonna get one of these knives. So imagine this, I'm at Disney World I'm about 24 hours into the flu, influenza B to be exact. And I wake up about six in the morning, I just sweated off a fever, I feel terrible, the rest of my family is still asleep, and all I wanna do is get cleaned up. So I head into the shower, and I think I'm just gonna take a quick shower, and see if I can start to feel better. Right as I'm getting in the shower, I get an Instagram notification that one of these knives is going to be available on the website sometime today. I've seen that before and I've never been there in time to get it, so I didn't really think much of it and I felt terrible anyway. I took my shower, my family was sleeping, I got out, eh, why not, I'll check it. And I noticed something a little different about the page. I've always seen in big bold letters, sold. Well, this time I saw for sale. And down below, there was an email. I quickly got that email, I copied it, and I pasted it onto an email that I have had in my saved drafts folder for 18 months. Basically said I wanted to buy the knife, I didn't even read it, I just cut, pasted, and I sent that email. Then I waited. I felt miserable and I figured there's no way I'm getting this thing, it'd been like 15 or 20 minutes. Now I'd never gotten this far in the process, so I thought, well, this is, this is a positive, at least I got the email out. Then I got a ding and I got an email and it said that this knife was still available. So quick PayPal transaction later and that leads us to today. Unboxing this bad boy. As you guys can see, I have not opened this. Came to my work today and I've been waiting all day to open it with you guys. Oh man, look at that. Here we are guys. Says right there, Jack Lore. Let's take a look. Oh man. That is a nice knife. You know, this calls for a little knife montage. This is a Jack Lore classic made by Sandy out of the UK. This is his classic bushcraft knife. This is the knife that I think of when I think of bushcraft, I'm not gonna lie. This exact knife. The handle is a stabilized unknown burl. He said it could be Amboina. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's a stabilized. 
It has black G10 liners, as you can see right here. It has Trinity mosaic pins and a lanyard tube here. The steel is 01 tool steel. It's triple tempered to a Rockwell hardness of 59. Blade is four millimeters thick, and you'll notice here a very slight detail of a tapered tang. This is a beautiful part of this knife. You can see how it starts at four millimeters. I'm guessing it probably tapers down to about two millimeters down here on the end. Blade length is 110 millimeters, or about 4.3 inches. The overall length is 225 millimeters, or 8.9 inches. It is shipped with this handmade leather uh, sheath. It's got a removable dangler and a belt loop right here. This is all handmade by Sandy. Beautiful, beautiful piece of leather. What a knife. What an awesome, awesome bushcraft knife. Be honest with you guys, I am super blessed to have this knife. I know it took a long time to get it. It's not cheap, it's not a budget knife by any means, it's more of a heirloom type knife. It is so nice. Uh, this will go down to my son and uh, I, I think it will last a very, very long time. I'm going to use it without question. I'm not afraid to use it. And I'll be using it in most of my videos here coming up soon. First channel that really got me into bushcraft was MCQ Bushcraft Mike out of the UK and he used one of these Jack Lore knives. When I think of bushcraft, I think of Mike. Now, a lot of people will think of Ray Mears and Morris Kahansky. A lot of people think of the Bush Lore knife, which is kind of basically what this is modeled after. This is Sandy's version of the Bush Lore knife. It's such a nice knife. It is so well put together. I'm super happy to have it. To me, this is kind of the holy grail of knives, but that's to me. I made a big production out of the unboxing just because it's fun and I've been wanting this knife for so long, really more than 18 months. I've tried to purchase it for 18 months, but I've really wanted it for five or six years and finally got an opportunity to get one. So what's you guys' holy grail knife? What are you looking for? I did a three knife tag for James at the Junkyard Fox recently, and I actually happened to mention this knife. I didn't have it at that time. This has all happened in the last couple of weeks. I'm real excited about it. I ordered it. It got here in about seven or eight days from the UK, which is exciting. I tracked it all the way across the pond with my phone and was real excited when I showed up to the office today. Like I said, do you guys have any kind of holy grail knives that you're looking for? Something that you would splurge on if you had the opportunity to buy? Make sure you leave it down in the comments below. Maybe give me some ideas for more uh, future knives down the road. But this is the one I really wanted and I'm super excited about it. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at it. Do me a favor guys, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up down below. It really helps spread things across YouTube. I've been considering doing a new knife series, a knife of the month type series where I purchase knives from maybe Etsy or some smaller stores looking to see are they good quality, are they nice or not, and it's something you should look into. Are you guys interested in some kind of a monthly knife video series like that? Let me know down below. If you want to make sure you don't miss any videos, hit the subscription button. If you want to be absolutely sure you don't miss any videos, hit the ding dong bell and you'll be the first to know. Like I said, this is something I've wanted for a long time. It is so well made and so well done. I'm just super excited about having it. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. Definitely look forward to seeing it in videos coming up soon. As always guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.